With sounds fitting a battle hardened force, it's time to close the chapter of Fifth Corps and their time in Europe. Organized in July of 1918 for service in World War I, Fifth Corps fought in three named campaigns. During World War II, Fifth Corps assaulted Omaha Beach, liberated Paris, and raced to the German border. Fifth Corps fought in the Battle of the Bulge at Ardennes, captured Leipzig, and made first contact with the Soviets at Torgau. They continued their fighting tradition during the Cold War, defending the Fulda Gap and doing their part to bring about the collapse of the Warsaw Pact. During the 1990s, they deployed to Saudi Arabia in support of the Gulf War and continued to defend freedom and democracy in the 2000s, with deployments to Iraq and, more recently, Afghanistan in 2013. After seeing combat action in Europe and the Middle East, it's time for Fifth Corps to say goodbye and case their colors. The President of the United States and the Secretary of Defense have issued new strategic guidance, which orders the resizing and reshaping of the armed forces. This allows the world's finest military to support and sustain the U.S.'s unique global leadership role. As part of this force structure adjustment, Headquarters Fifth Corps will inactivate in Europe, effective today, bringing to an end Fifth Corps' 95 years of continuous service to our nation. For one soldier, the casing of the Fifth Corps colors was a little emotional. And it's my privilege as the last in a long line of Fifth Corps commanders to say on behalf of all of us, past and present, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. It is now my proud but bittersweet duty to report it has been done. Victory. Some of the soldiers here today will remain in Europe. Others will make their way to the United States, but everyone will find a new command and a new corps to call home. Air Force Sergeant Tyler Alexander, Biebrich, Germany.